Quick, quick. Oh, he's gone, I think. The unpredictability of sport was summed up in, uh, in this moment, as I remind myself of Gary Pratt, I mean, and Ricky Ponting's shock, and Duncan Fletcher's look, and England's celebration, and it's come from the most unlikely source, maybe ever, in Ashes history. If someone had said to you at the start of that series, it'll be Gary Pratt's moment, you'd have looked at him as if they were nuts. England had to play at their very best to beat Australia, but I don't think anybody could have predicted quite how tense this match would become, or indeed how many ebbs and flows it would have. Um, and my commentary um, has sort of been remembered for Steve Harmison's ball to Michael Clarke uh, on, on that uh, late evening when England were desperate really to make inroads before the final push for victory the next morning. I, I always think it's an exaggerated piece of commentary, but then a lot of people accuse me of that full stop. Um, I'm just going to go back now and have a, have a look at it. Oh, Stephen Harmison with a slower ball. One of the great balls. Given the moment, given the batsman, and given the match, that is a staggering gamble that's played off for Harmison. He bowled it perfectly. You've got to remember just how fast Harmison could bowl, the extreme bounce he could get. So he steams in here with all England behind him and he bowls a really clever slower ball. Uh, I think Tony Gregg goes on to say on commentary that he just rolled his fingers across it, it was a slower leg cutter. Um, I called it a staggering gamble that paid off. I don't know what I'm talking about, I never did really. Um, it wasn't a gamble at all, it was just smart. Um, I think given the moments, fair enough, um, it's probably the moment that or certainly went a long way to winning England the game. It reiterated England's uh, sense of purpose, really, their intelligence, because Harmison was never seen as, a, as intelligent. He, he was seen as very good and very fast, but quite random, at times even erratic. But this proved there was more to Steve Harmison. He's actually a smart guy in many ways, and I always felt that that, that wicket summed him up, perhaps more than any other that he ever took. But I do feel that, that that summer had so many um, parts to come together to make the whole. And, uh, and Harmison's ball to Michael Clark was one of them, as was Flintoff's great over in that match to Pontic. Um, and I'm very lucky that so many people have said they enjoyed that bit of commentary and it, and it lives on for them. Uh, um, as I say, there's a fair bit of nonsense in it, but I guess in the end you can't hide your own enthusiasm and, and, and uh, sense of, of drama for a moment that I and I guess everybody on the ground and those watching on TV will, will never forget. For more great videos from Lords, please subscribe.